what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the spoiler free review for mission impossible dead reckoning part one it is directed by christopher mcquarrie who also co-wrote the screenplay with eric Genderson. it is starring tom cruise Haley atwell ving rame simon pegg rebecca ferguson vanessa kirby henry Conzerni, and some other newcomers and some familiar faces uh this film is the seventh entry i believe yes seventh entry we have an eighth that'll be part two in this long ongoing mission impossible series that continues to get better with each new entry ethan hunt and his imf team embark on their most dangerous mission yet to track down a terrifying new weapon that threatens humanity before it falls into the wrong hands with control of the future and the fate of the world at stake and dark forces from ethan's past closing in a deadly race around the globe begins confronted by a mysterious all-powerful entity ethan is forced to consider that nothing can matter more than his mission not even the lives of those he cares about most now, I will say Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is absolutely amazing. I'm not saying it's better than Fallout, but it is quite possibly my new favorite entry. For clarity, for people who watch me, for anyone who sees my tweets, you know that I have no problem admitting something is my favorite entry while still picking at it. But also, when I say something is my favorite entry, that is not me saying it's better than a previous entry. Dead Reckoning has a few hiccups here and there that I'm certain make it a decline compared to fallout and i'm certain i'll pick up on a lot more during my revisits of it one in particular that i already know is is related to the villain in this film despite that the experience is so entertaining and captivating for me compared to the others that that's what's making it my new current favorite along with the timely story at the center of it all uh, as promised we do dive into ethan hunt's life prior to the imf but the story is a little flimsy in that regard and yet still worth investing in based on the little crumbs we get that I'm assuming must be explored even further in part two. The relationship between Hunt and our new antagonist, Gabriel, is just getting started. And the timely AI story is equally terrifying and compelling due to the current climate that we're living in. Living in. There's an added layer of suspense thanks to this AI uh, focus of the story and the dangers that AI presents. This AI also is basically our main villain, I want to say that is referred to as the entity. Exposition dumping felt rather unnecessary here at times in regards to AI. Well, I suppose the better word I could go for is excessive. In a world where AI is all around us, I didn't need a tutorial from Luther on what this is, what it wants, how it operates, etc. However, while again, I can say it's excessive, it also did aid in keeping the film tense and intriguing since Hunt and his team are working to stop a threat like no other. It's building up the terrifying nature and the risk and danger that AI actually presents. There's a lot of meta commentary about Cruz's lack of aging, vampire jokes even, Hunt's pattern with women in the franchise and other jokes that feel earned at this point considering this is again one of the only franchises that continues to get better as it progresses. Haley Atwell's character of Grace I would say fits right in as if she's always been here but of course we know she hasn't been. She's just woven into the fabric of the story in such an incredible way she feels like she's always been here. Grace is an interesting newcomer with a lot of baggage that she slowly overcomes during the film. And while Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, like many of the others, is all about the action, stunts, and amazing set pieces, its ability to balance that with character development is quite remarkable. Christopher McQuarrie continues to deliver on the relentless action sequences that remain grounded mostly, even if aspects at times are hard to believe, and there are several for me in Dead Reckoning Part 1, but it never reaches the caliber of what we've been seeing from Fast and Furious. The choreography is always easy to follow, the pacing is impeccable, and the camera work keeps you on the edge of your seat. Each sequence does indeed seem to be outdoing one another. It seems like that's the goal that they're setting out for at this point as a gag in these movies now. His ability to keep you engaged for nearly three hours is fantastic. Everything about the story is elevated because of who is at the helm. Again, major props to McQuarrie. He does an amazing job with these movies. The stakes are felt. The urgency is always present. But I also want to give credit to the score because it's amplifying a lot of the moments here that can get rather intense, especially midway through the movie. The train bit at the end is a bit ridiculous even towards the end of its own existence but that's still a highly entertaining sequence nonetheless might be again one of the best third acts in the franchise it just goes on for far too long and could have been trimmed so while the pacing isn't something i felt there are bits in the movie that i could say yeah you should have cut that down a bit but everything ceased to serve its purpose maybe some stuff does overstay its welcome but it's never to the point where i'd say the pacing is just horrendous or awful the runtime literally just flies by 
Uh, there's even a Top Gun Maverick like bit of influence, I would say, during the train sequence. But you'll know what know what I mean when you actually get to see the movie. Every performance is great. And yes, Rebecca Ferguson was the standout for me, along with Atwell, uh, Isai Morales, who makes Gabriel very intimidating and interesting, despite us only learning the bare minimum about his relationship with Hunt for now. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, I would say, is a blockbuster event probably the blockbuster event of the summer a blockbuster event that we knew tom cruise would deliver to us uh the blockbuster event of the summer seems to be more fitting for a movie like like this and of its magnitude and it demonstrates why movies like this deserve to be experienced on the biggest screen possible i'm going to give this a solid eight out of ten you guys let me know what you think about mission impossible dead reckoning part one down in the comment section below if you've already had the chance to see it if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video